Hi guys, welcome back to Charlotte's Foliage. Pay no attention to my hair because it looks a mess and my daughter's supposed to be coming to do it today at noon. But I wanted to get in here today and talk to you guys about how my plants that were dying and how I cut them up and now they've grown so healthy that I need to put them all in one particular pot and um, give it some fertilizer. So I'd like for you guys to experience that with me. And the one plant that was really healthy and growing like crazy and I was bragging on it and taking pictures of it was my Viracosum. And then one day it just took a turn for the worse. So I had to chop it up and here it is. It's grown, it's given me one, two, and a new growth point there. So I wanted to put it in a pot all together. Let me show you the other piece of it that I have. Um, and that's why I wanna make sure that I preserve it. This one is getting burned in my cabinet. So I wanna put all of these Viracosum plants together and make them one big family. And then also I have another plant here I'm thinking it's a viracosum, but for some reason it looks different and it must have been from the um, larger stem. But there it is, it's a beautiful leaf. And then if you look right there, there's another growing point and I just lost the leaf. This plant is extremely dry and that's my fault. So that's why I wanna put all these plants together and give them the best chance at surviving. And I'd like to do that with you guys right here with me. I almost hate to disturb them because they're doing so well, but that's a part of taking a chance with potting up plants. So we're gonna get kind of like a medium container because a viracosal plant can grow pretty big. In fact, mine was huge and I'll pop a picture in here and show you guys what it used to look like until I either couldn't figure out what was wrong with it or it had some type of um, infestation. But we're going to go ahead right into putting it in a new home. I'm trying to find a pot that I particular think it should go in. I don't want it to be too big, but I don't want it to be too small. So I was thinking about this size, but I don't know. I might go down just a little bit since the plants are still small. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll go with this size, you guys. So a lot of times when my plants are doing good in the mixture that they're in, I like to leave them in that mixture, but I actually have this one in pond and a little bit of soil. And then I have this one, well, I'm sorry, perlite. And this one is in perlite too, and a little bit of pond. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get them to uh, get acclimated. This one has some really good roots on it. I'm just wondering, should I leave it by itself and just water it? I'm confused. I'm conflicted on what I should do, but let's just get a mixture together here. Um, we won't always put a barky mixture together because that's what the plants like and they can dry out and not get wood rot. So we're going to start out with some perlite. Nice big chunky perlite that I purchased. And we're going to get some worm castings for fertilization. And we're going to get some barky mix because you want to make sure orchid bark is in all your mixtures to aerate the soil, okay? And then I'm gonna put some fertilizer in here, some Osmocote, cause this one lasts, I believe for six months. So I won't have to try to remember the fertilizer plant. 
and we already have the fertilizer in the mixture. Okay. And I'm just gonna kind of stir this little mixture up that I have. Make sure it's evenly distributed between the plant roots. Show you what it looks like. Don't pay attention to the soil side, it's just the other side, the barky mix. I got my big spoon here. I'm just gonna pour some in there, and you see some coming out the bottom. That's because it has holes in the bottom of the pot, which is what we want. And then I'm just gonna remove the plant gently. Oh, yeah, this one, you guys, I need to cut this. I'm glad I caught this in time. See how soft that is? I can squeeze it. That's rot. That's root rot. And we, we don't want that. So I'm going to cut that off to give this plant a better chance. And I hope it's not too late because that's probably why this piece is so dark, you guys. I think what I'm going to do is this rotted. The stem is rotted. I can feel it. I'm gonna see if I can cut all that rot out. This one here, you guys, I think I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna put it back in water. But the other is, like I said, it's doing fine. So here's this one. That one was rotted. Okay. And this one is ready to go. It's not rotted, the stem is firm. So we're gonna put her in here and it's got another growth point on there. Now, the other one, we're gonna take a look at it. It's real dry, you guys, I'll let it dry out. But it's a healthy leaf on here. Oh, this was, um, I'm gonna show you. We got some healthy roots on it. This plant was uh, repotted in um, stratinum. That's the little black balls there, and it did really well. Okay, so stratum, fugal stratum. So now I'm just placing these plants together gently in this pot, in its new container, and I'm giving it a really barky mix so that we don't have to worry about root rot. And then I'm just pouring the substrate in here and taking away some dead leaves that didn't make it. And because this plant needed a good watering, we're going to give it a good watering. Okay. So I'm going to show you how it looks here in just a minute. So there's one leaf. It's very thirsty. That's why it's limp like that. But the other one's okay, it's kind of standing up. So we're gonna give it a bottom water. And I've got some water right here. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna take it over to my drain and give it a good watering. Okay, so that's one thing that I wanted to do. I've got a couple of other plants, you guys, that need some care. And they're doing well. It's just that I needed to get on this because some of them are drying out. When you get busy with life, you don't always remember your plants. So this is my begonia. And it's a little damp but it's drying out to the point where when it's trying to unfurl, it's struggling, okay? So I'm gonna give it a good water. I think I'll give it a bottom water. And I'll just show you that. Just kind of, so I don't overwater it. I'm just gonna pour some water at the bottom of the little pan that I have it in and let it, the water wick up to the plant and set it to the side. 
I'll show you how that looks. Just like that. So it can take in the water. This is another plant that I had no success with. Um, and I chopped it up and now it's regrown. And I just have it in a little container, but I've forgotten to water. Oh, it's got a little bit of water in there. If you can see, it looks damp down there at the purge level, but it needs more water. And I think it's outgrowing this little container that I have it in. So I was thinking about repotting it because it does have two stems now and put it in more of a barkier mix so that it won't, we won't lose it, okay? Now, getting it out of this container may be a chore, but we're gonna try to get it out. Just careful not to rip the roots. I'm just squeezing on the container. And then I'll pull on the plant in a little bit after I get it loose in this container. Here it comes. I bet she's gonna have some nice roots on it, guys. Here she comes, she's trying to get out. I'm just careful not to rip her roots. Okay, here it is, I'll show it to you. So she's already watered and she's doing good. She's just kind of getting compact in that container that it was in. Oh my goodness, you guys. She's got a really big, huge stem. I'm gonna show it to you as soon as I'll take some of this soil off of here. Look how huge this stem is, you guys. And it's nice and firm, so it's healthy. The plant is healthy. So we're gonna put it in a new pot, not too big. I'm gonna put it in this nice little brown container here. We're gonna use that same barky mix because it's a good mix. I'm not gonna water this plant because as you can see, it's already watered. We're just gonna make sure that it's got enough room in here to spread out because this plant has a thick stem to it. I just hope that this pot is gonna be big enough for it. We already put some fertilizer in here. This plant is very wet, so we're not gonna water it, but I do need to watch it in the next couple of days to see if I need to come in here and water it. Okay. The noise you hear in the background is my dryer. And for those of you who've been watching my channel, you do know that I have a plant room in my laundry room. So that's what you're hearing, my clothes are drying. So here's the plant. This is a tenu, a philodendron tenu. And there's the new growth point. So this plant is trying to really grow and we're gonna help it. The last plant that I need to work on, I think I made a mistake of putting too many plants in one pot because they started out as little small forms and now they've grown into a nice healthy plant but I'm getting some spots on the leaves so I decided I better do something about it. It's in Lekka, Pond, and Perlite and these are my Alocasia Silver Dragons. It's like four or five corms they started as four or five corns and they're doing good. But as you can see right here, I had to move this plant because it was giving me some yellow tips. But I think I need to put it in a bigger pot because if you know allocations, they grow really big. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna try to, I think I'm gonna keep it in the same exact substrate, but I'm gonna give it a bigger pot so it has more room to grow. I have a whole pot of alocasias out front in my yard and they're just thriving. Okay, so I'm gonna move these plants that we were working on off to the side here. So 
we're just gonna gently try to take this plant. I'm gonna show you the roots. Look at the roots there, you guys. It's giving me some really good growth. It's got some new growth on here. But I think I might be stunting the growth because it's too compact in here. So I'm gonna gently try to remove this plant. I think I got one that's coming out. Let me move them around here in this vessel. See if I can pull them out. Oh, they're coming out pretty good, you guys. I'll show you here in just a second. See? It's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about seven. Actually, it's eight leaves, but they've intertwined to two plants, okay? So, we're gonna get a nice size pot. Probably that pot that I had earlier would work. And, and we're gonna give it a more room to grow, okay? So let's see, let me see. I think I like this pot a little better. It's shorter. Oh, this one's kind of tall. Yeah, I think I'll do this one. It's wide enough, but it's not as tall. So we're gonna to put together some more of that same mixture. with worm castings. Big, nice chunks of perlite. Orchid bark for sure. And some six month Osmocote fertilizer. So we don't have to forget to fertilize the plant. Um, when your plant is growing really well, you want to make sure you continue to give it fertilizer to help with the growth process. Okay, so here I go. I'm putting it in here. Uh-oh. Well, it's really got big holes at the bottom of this container. Some people put mesh in on the bottom of their container. I got a little piece of stocking I'll try to put on the bottom of mine because that's going to fall completely out of there if I don't put something in there. Now, that's better. See? Now, I'm just going to gently place the plants in their same substrate they're attached to. And then I'm gonna put it in this barky mix. Okay. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Just stuff that you need to do, you haven't done and you don't want to lose your plant, so you say, look, I need to stop what I'm doing, and I need to get on this right away. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you'll enjoy the content and try not to worry about this hairstyle of mine that's got to get done today. Um, and for those of you who are returning, thank you. I appreciate your subscription and your loyalty. Um, I do have a plant store, you guys, and um, it's on Etsy. If you search Charlotte's Foliage on the Etsy, you'll find me there. And I could use some sales. I enjoy shipping to the U.S. And I have um, some great reviews on my Etsy store. So check me out. If there's a cutting or some plant, a wish list plant that you want, I might have it. It may not even be on my store, but it may be here in my home. I love to send people plant mail. And I, if you make a purchase, I'll even send you a cutting. So just let me know what you're looking for. And I'll try to make sure I get it to you and for you. Okay? 
so yeah I give away plants too it's just that I have some I do need to sell because I'm, I have an overstock of them really but let me show you how this plant is spreading out and look how it's looking now you guys and now that we have it in a bigger pot, the roots can spread and it's going to give us some new growth, okay? So, I believe that's all I had. Um, just potting up plants and making sure that, you know, I'm taking care of them. I'm going to give you a brief picture. I'm going to move the tripod so you can see all the plants that I have. Some of these plants are for sale and some of them aren't, but I'll still show them to you. I'll show you how they're doing. I figure if I show you how my plants are doing and you're interested in purchasing a plant, at least you know that my plants are pretty healthy. Okay, let's, let's go check, take a look at it. I'm going to turn the camera around. These are my plants, and this is how they're doing. Okay? I got a few of them I need to water. Some of them I repotted. Then I've got some over here in the greenhouse. I'll go over to this side so you can see. See? These are all my babies. A lot of these plants in this green cabinet is... um for sale. And they, some of them are on my store front. Let's check it out. Charlotte's Foliage on Etsy and I will pop a link um, in there so you can see. I got some stuff over here on my messy desk. But yeah, that's what I have. This plant, I believe, is on my Etsy store, but I'm not sure. Um, but it is for sale. It, it's a McDowell, Philodendron McDowell. Um, it doesn't come with that pot, but the plant is for sale. So let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want. Um, look at my Ad Insonia right there. And I have a huge begonia there. And let me move this humidifier. I've got some pink prince philodendrons that's pushing out new growth. I've got a pink princess philodendron cutting somewhere around here. But yeah, I was able to propagate that plant and do really well with it. Beautiful foliage. Check me out. Thanks for stopping by my channel. This begonia is for sale too. Bye now.